Hi, and welcome to the video series for the Eucentric CTX. The CTX is a rich media application development platform that enables the creation and integration of customized applications that can include real-time video, audio, screen collaboration, diagnostics, file transfer, markup tools, text chat, and recording functionality. In this video, I'll be using the demo application that is included in the SDK to showcase this screen collaboration module. In particular, I'd like to highlight for you the range of options included in this part of the CTX, which enable everything from simple screen sharing to full desktop remote control. Before we begin, it is important to note that the CTX architecture is built in the publisher subscriber pair system, which you'll see as I work in the demo application. Start by opening up an instance of the app here. And the first step in the process is to create a conference. Now a quick note here on the terminology that we're using. We use the term conference to refer to any interaction between two or more endpoints, which may include a typical multi-party video conference, uh, but could also include a technician remotely accessing multiple PCs for maintenance purposes. So you can see that there are a variety of use cases involved here. I will call this user, uh, sorry, conference one and user ID one. Now this is typically where another PC would come into play and join the conference. I'm going to simulate that here on a single screen simply by opening up a second instance of the application. And we will have the same conference number, but this will be user two. Now in order to showcase the screen collaboration, I have an image file here that I'm ready to share across. I'm using my desktop space spatially here, so you're going to assume that this image belongs to user one and we'll have them publish this. Now this window gives me the opportunity to highlight some of the various options in this module of the CTX. In the pixel menu are some options with respect to the quality of the content sharing, whether that be 8, 16, or 24 bits per pixel. It will impact the number of colors that are shared across in the content and therefore the quality. You can also select what it is that you'd like to share, whether that be the desktop or perhaps a single application. In our demo today, I'll use the desktop. And if you're working with multiple monitors as I am, then you'll have them in a listing here as well, just to select which one you are sharing from. There is also a portion share tool as part of this module. This gives you the option to share just a section of your desktop. In particular, this would be valuable in cases where there may be confidential information in another area of the screen and you don't wish to share that this portion share tool would be used then. So we have published that content from user one. User two is going to subscribe. You'll note here the control by feature. This is in fact remote control and by selecting this you can see that I'm impacting which of our two users is going to be able to control the shared content by mouse and keyboard. In an application environment you can have this pass back and forth or have both people controlling the mouse and keyboard uh, collaboratively. I obviously can't showcase this to you using a single PC, but I did want to point it out as we went along. Open this up in a new UI control so you can see. But we've now got user one and user two looking at our penguin image. And you'll note that if I affect the file menu, the menu structure here, that that's happening in both places. That's sharing one-to-one. -one. For one-to-many, I'll simply open up a third instance of our application here, simulate a third user, and we'll have them join as well. And we'll have them subscribe to this content as well. A quick note here on the publish and subscribe process that I've been going through. These steps are done manually here in the demo application, so you can see that process. In an application that you create, those steps can be manual or automatic. And depending on your use case, one party might initiate both pieces, uh, or it could be sort of one and then the other. This is completely dependent on how you create your application. 
You can see though now on the screen that we've got all three individuals or all three users looking at the penguin file and again as I affect the menus you'll see that happening for both users two and three as well. There is of course the opportunity to share content back and forth both ways between users. In order to showcase this in this video I'm going to limit us to two users strictly for screen realistic purposes otherwise this is going to get really uh, quite muddy on my screen but the CTX does not limit this as functionality to two users. This is simply me and my space on the screen. I have opened up a uh, part of our Ucentric web page here just as some different content to share and I'll have user 2 publish that. See the same set of options come up here. I'll make use of our portion share again since that works so well the first time. And we'll have user one subscribe. So you can see because we've got some flash uh, going on in the web page that that will change as well. So that's happening in real time. And user two is still viewing the penguin image. So just a quick recap for you here. This has been the Eucentric CTX screen collaboration module. This module includes content sharing, desktop sharing, the ability to share just a portion of the desktop screen, remote control functionality, the ability to share content from one to many, and the ability for users to share content back and forth. Hope you found this video to be informative and thanks so much for watching.